Welcome back to the channel guys, Pat here at Card Scale Dreams. So today, or yeah, I guess tonight, this evening, late Saturday night, bringing to you my uh, 1969 Corvette um, interior is finished. <clears throat> um, so I guess I'll just go through what I've done. Um, Dark grey flocking, seat belts, um, this is ribbon, photo etch uh, clasps, <clears throat> I lightened up the um, the seat so it kind of brings out the, de the detail a little bit, um, kind of looks good, first time I've tried it. Um, yeah, it looks alright. I did the door cards as well in the same fashion. Breaks it up a little bit, I think. So you can see the lighter gray on there. Yeah, I think it looks good. Got the dash finished. I haven't glued this in yet. <clears throat> so here I got I got detail master rings on there and then I had these <clears throat> paper <coughs> paper instrument gauges so I got those on there had a hell of a time putting these on um, had to dremel all this out because the first, when I first opened them, drilled them, and then I put in, did the test fit, they sat way too far back, so I had to thin it out. And, um, yeah, they look pretty good, I think. These are decals from the kit, and this is the emblem on the steering wheel, which isn't correct, but it's a photo etch piece from a Chevelle kit. So I put, um, Put UV resin over all uh, over, over this center cap, all the gauge faces, and yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I did some light grays on here too, or sorry, dark grays, just to bring out a bit of detail. Deleted the steer, uh, sorry, stereo heater controls as they were deleted on the L88 and a photo etch key. Ignition switch. So there we have the I think it looks pretty good. Turned out really well I think for how much trouble I had with it. So this, uh, the steering wheel, kit steering wheel, just painted that up, um, and it had the, had the turn signal, and the, uh, what would that be, oh, that's the um, hazard, I think that's the hazards, hazard there, well, that's kind of neat, I thought. Yeah, it looks pretty good, pretty happy with it. Uh, starting work on the, just weathering this up a bit, bringing out the details. And then I also finished the chassis and got the engine in. So the chassis is weathered slightly.
Just some regular road grime. Not no, this ain't no trailer queen. Look. So for uh, the dirt, I used um, Golden Earth pigment. So wet and dry. So dry brushing where I wanted it thick, or sorry, uh, wet brushing. <clears throat> Mixing with water, I made it thicker in the corners and then dry brushed where I just wanted it to uh, a slight dusting. And then I did a little bit of uh, dry brushing with aluminum as well. So that was it, what, nothing too crazy. Um, still got to get the exhaust on there. Got to do up the uh, side pipes and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for this update. Just a short one. Oh, I got a. So this red rad cap is a punch that out of um, embossing foil so that's what that is it looks pretty good and uh, yeah just want to thank everybody for checking in on the videos uh, I've been watching a bit trying to catch up with videos last week uh, so everybody's doing us some really nice work out there seen some reveals and uh, yeah hope everybody is having a great weekend and we'll catch you all soon model on thank you thank you very much